Welcome to Struct and Engineering. Today we are going to talk about the sponge bomb technology that Israel may use to seal and block off Hamas tunnels. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this new weapon and how it works. But before we get into that, make sure you don't think about SpongeBob every time I mention the sponge bomb and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of my latest videos. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button and share it with your friends. Now, let's get started. The sponge bomb is a kind of chemical grenade that contains no explosives but can be used to fill gaps or tunnel entrances with hard foam. It is designed to trap Hamas fighters underground and prevent them from escaping or launching attacks. The sponge bomb is one of the secret weapons that Israel may deploy during its ground invasion of Gaza, which has been under heavy bombardment by Israeli airstrikes since October 7, when Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel. The sponge bomb consists of two liquids that are separated by a metal barrier inside a plastic container. When the barrier is removed, the liquids mix and react rapidly, creating a liquid emulsion that expands and hardens within seconds. The sponge bomb can be thrown into a tunnel or a hole, where it will fill the space and block it off. The foam is very strong and resistant to fire, water, and chemicals. The sponge bomb is especially useful for dealing with the extensive Hamas tunnel network, which is believed to stretch for hundreds of kilometers underground, although the Gaza Strip itself is just 25 miles in length. The tunnels are used by Hamas to hide militants, weapons, hostages, and command centers. They also allow Hamas to launch surprise attacks on Israeli towns and soldiers near the border. Israel has been trying to destroy the tunnels with conventional bombs and bulldozers but they are often rebuilt or repaired by Hamas. The sponge bomb could give Israel an edge in tunnel warfare, as it could seal off the tunnels and trap the Hamas fighters inside them. It could also allow Israeli commandos to secure safe routes to travel while searching for hostages or targets. The sponge bomb could also be used to fill gaps in walls or buildings, creating barriers or obstacles for the enemy. The sponge bomb is not the first time that foam or slime was considered for military use. American soldiers used foam as a non-lethal tactic against rioters in Somalia in the 1990s. However, the sponge bomb is more advanced and effective than previous versions of foam weapons. The Israel Defense Forces IDF, have reportedly trained soldiers to use the sponge bombs at the Israeli military's Mini Gaza, a mock-up of the underground tunnel system constructed at the Urban Warfare Training Center in the Negev Desert. The IDF has not confirmed or denied the existence of the sponge bombs, but some sources have claimed that they have been tested and are ready for deployment. So, what do you think of the sponge bomb technology? Do you think it will help Israel with the war against Hamas? Or do you think it will cause more harm than good? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you want to learn more about some new technologies and other topics related to robotics, AI, and technology, make sure to check out my other videos on this channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe.